Russell, how are you Hello. doing? I'm very well. How You're are you? You're looking good. You're looking very trim. You're just back from Dubai, is that correct? Yes. Was this a holiday or was this work? No, I did some gigs out there. Now, how does that go? How does it how It do you... was much better than the last time. Um, <laughs> no, it's true. Last time I went with my mum oh. and they thought we were a couple. Wow. And, <laughs> and she played up to it the entire week. I was waiting for her at breakfast one morning. I'm not making this up. She came and went, Morning, husband. <laughs> and she told one of the waiters that I was a male prostitute, that she got cheap because my eyes were lazy. Well, yeah. this... <laughs> uh, let me ask you, because I know you're a very funny man, I know you're a clever man as well. You haven't dabbled uh, with writing, you haven't tried to write books. Had you ever thought about maybe doing a children's book like Alicia's done? Or... The thing I often find about writing <laughs> is I'm very envious of people that I, I couldn't sit down and entertain myself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, but I think that's the skill you'd have to... But the idea of being sat there just with me... <laughs> that's a pretty grim thought, well, yeah, have, you, yeah. have you ever been in one of them flotation tanks? Uh, Is anyone ever... It's quite a <laughs> thing. Hey, you know, have you ever been in a float? <laughs> uh, that's what, so that's where you're isolated. From, you're just yeah. you and your thoughts. Well, I thought this is going to be great. I'll get in there, I'll sit there, I'll, I'll understand myself. And literally, within a minute, you're like, well, this is the worst thing ever. It's like oh, no. you're locked in, a, in like, an, an egg Flat. with just you... For an hour. So now, what did you find most annoying about yourself in that hour? The fact that after five minutes, I thought, should I ever? <laughs> and, and, and I genuinely thought, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not proud of saying that, but I was like, Is no that like one. A healthy think... man to yeah. 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 But then I thought they'll have cameras in there. Why would they have cameras in a flotation tank? Because that's what I would do if I were in a dirty egg business. So, so did you or didn't you? Of course I didn't. No. What do you mean, of course I didn't? If no, you I thought just, about it, I sat that's there so thinking about. No! <laughs> I, I just... But I, I don't know what I thought... I wasn't planning on chatting about this, but... I read a story the other day that a lot of uh, over-60s still, still partake in a bit of onanism. So, don't judge me. I can see some of you. Over-60s? I'm 16 two years' time. Of course we... <laughs> it's not falling off. But I, I mean, it's not like... It's not like... I mean, that, that was a big round of applause yes. over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's not... like pleasure ends at Yeah, it's not like they cut, come and cut it off or something, <laughs> when you tell me. But I, I don't know, I... I thought... You just can't imagine 60-year-olds I don't like the idea of you doing it. No, I know. Like and I, I apologise for putting that thought in your head. But I don't... I, don't I like... only ever do it in flotation tanks, <laughs> so you'll never see... You'll never see any of that footage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, we mentioned your mum already. Nanette yep. is her name. Yes. You spent a lot of time with her recently, because mm -hmm. you do travel shows with her. Yes. Uh, you did one in America, which mm -hmm. was great, and you've just come back. Is it India the next series is going yeah. to be set in? Yeah, you went to India and South Korea and Japan. Wow. Yep. OK, so South Korea as well. There you go. Amazing. That's you and, and Nanette in India. So you must get on well with your mum. To be I love to travel her, yeah. these places to have that. And, but she's, is she a bit of a liability sometimes? Does she, is, is it... She's not a liability. She just... What I love about my mum is that she's got no affectation. So... Like, I mean, you know when you're in a hotel room, you kind of get, oh, another hotel. Oh. Like that, whereas mum will literally go, oh, free biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> and a kettle, steal it, steal it all. Um, <laughs> she, she, she just gets excited. So we, we flew business class, and um, you see all these sort of businessmen, very used to it, and mum's literally like that. Oh, my God, the, the seat. So she sort of led down <laughs> in the air, going, look at that, I'm led down. <laughs> And it's beautiful. If you spend time with someone like that, it reminds you how great the world is. Oh. Not to say she isn't insane. Well, <laughs> now, when you went on the USA road trip, yes. uh, the, I think one of the most popular moments from that series, and this is extraordinary, is you and your mum, you got high. Yes. Uh, so she got stoned mm -hmm. on camera. What was the... Uh, this was, was this... Is she a regular drug user for recreational purposes? <laughs> or was this the first time for her? No, it was the first time. She, she loved it. I loved it. Well, this was marijuana. <laughs> It was marijuana. Marijuana. Yeah. <laughs> marijuana. We where were we? We were in Portland. And, and, and was it already legal there then? Because yes. it's legal, yeah. Okay. Yes, it was legal. All fine. All above board, so we can chat about it. And uh, <laughs> it was great. I don't know if you've got stoned with your mum. Have you ever... No comment. Oh, really? So there you go. It's, it's great, isn't it? It just... There was a lovely moment, so she sort of... Like, just seeing your mum take a hit on a joint in itself is kind of... <laughs> She's kind of like that. And then we're having a chat, and she genuinely went... She went, cows have got no emotional range. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, that's actually a really good point. Because yeah. cows... Yeah. Mm, yeah. You, but you've never heard a cow go, no. Yeah. Like that. yeah. So we were Amazing. chatting about cows. So. Amazing. OK, uh, the Russell Hour is back for a second series. Uh, this is back on 8th of November on Sky at 10pm, I think. Yes. Um, tell people what it's about. If they haven't seen it before, or what can they look forward to in the new series? So, it's, it's basically, it's me chatting about the news and specifically things I care about. Yeah. So, I, fi I find it quite hard to get worked up about sort of fake hate. 
Do you know what I mean? Oh, I tell what annoys me, wagon mama. And it's all quite safe stuff. Yeah. But last year, I got really genuinely upset. I read a thing about um, one in four 16 to 25-year-old girls self-harm, and it genuinely upset me. And I thought, I wonder if I could talk about that, because this is what I feel, and try and make sense and make it entertaining and hopefully uplifting and funny. And so that's I have some the comedy in it, but not, in a, not at the expense, obviously. Absolutely of that. not at no, the expense, no. but tr trying to understand it. Because I, so I spoke to lots of, of women about this. I spoke to one girl, and she, she told me a thing about ribcage bragging. I'm not sure you're familiar with that. But it's basically where people on Instagram will show off their ribs. These are girls who are not eating much, and they are... Exactly. So young girls copy it. And I can't speak for women, but I can speak for every man that's walked the earth. No man's ever looked at a woman and gone, mm. look at her ribs on that. Because yeah. <laughs> we look at you like your women, not percussion instruments. We're not going to just go, oh, yeah. Arr. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to flip you over and go, huh, huh. We're not. <laughs> It, exactly, and it's, it's an interesting thing. Yeah, so you found a way of, but, of yeah. But, but my, my point being is that I think it's really important to, if you're lucky enough where people watch your show, it's a bit like you're saying with your daughter, trying to write a book for her. Mm. It's trying to write comedy for people who are disenfranchised. I find it really fascinating and... It's the only thing I can do at Well, I know this is you, you're kind of very, very connected with that side of, yeah. of life and you want, to, you want to use your platform in some way. To and, I, to... and I like talking to specifically young people and, and fit like, because I'm, I'm not as old as you, obviously, you wizened. But. <laughs> but... <laughs> Still love you. No, you look amazing. It's... <laughs> but but you, you should have seen back when we were backstage, when we found out you were 40, everyone was like, what the f? No, well, Stormzy lost it, didn't he? Seriously. <laughs> but I, I, so I like talking to young people about um, about the world, and I kind of feel like as you know, I'm 38 now. I, I find it. I spoke to. I, this sounds incredibly creepy, but I spoke to a how old was she? She was 22. About pubic hair. We built up to it, right? I didn't just. I think I straight in. No, but but I was. She told me something. She was like, I, I, sh I shave it because I don't want boys to laugh at me. And I was like, that's so sad, because I think, I think you should keep, keep it hairy. If you want to shave it, shave it for you. Don't do it for men, because I think there'll be old women in here that you don't muck around, you keep it loose, you keep it swinging. Right? <laughs> and that's the way it should be. There'll be old women in here with a fanny like Jon Snow's coat. And that's, <laughs> that is exactly... That's what they should be like. And the very... Let me finish! And the very idea... <laughs> But the very idea that you're, you're distorting your natural body for men is utterly ludicrous. Yeah. I agree. And I, and I think that's the... So you can put funny jokes in and have a bit of heart. Yeah. You don't just want to be like, like you yeah, know, I mean, girls don't do it, you know? Mm. It's just f wet and <laughs> Crank it, you know what I mean? I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to voice an opinion on the end part of that. About, but, but I was going to say, you mean Jon Snow from Game of Thrones, not Jon Snow from <laughs> That was my first thought. Why I have thought, I never thought of that, Joe? That's no, but I thought, why is his coat such a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> He's quite a well turned out old gentleman. That is brilliant. Um, listen, every so often your accent pops out. A lot of the time you're speaking what I would say is I'd call English, and then sometimes that accent comes out, <laughs> which is. Is that Bristolian? It's full Bristolian. That was Bristolian, yeah. Said, Let, can I hear a little bit of that in its native form? I, I in its like... native form? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm excited when I hear I can't believe it. you're having a go at me the way I speak. No, no. Um, I'm, not, I'm not having a go. I'm <laughs> celebrating our differences. OK. But what would you like me to say? Just so, let, well, already that was like funny. Say, well, say. So my... Sounds a bit like Cornwall. Like, yeah, like... it's like that, It's right? near Cornwall, but not as touristy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I did see. Oh, this, this is the most perfect Bristolian thing I've seen recently. It's walking through the park. And this kid, he's probably about, I don't know, seven, he scored a goal, right? And evidently he hadn't scored yet. And he was like, oh, it's happened! It's happened! Dad! Right? And his dad runs towards him. It's absolutely beautiful. And they both ran towards each other and then went... <laughs> and then touched each other's bellies. And then he kind of ran back to the other dad and went, oh, I'll be honest with you, we've been practicing that for three years. <laughs> and it was just like... Yeah! The sweetest thing. Beautiful. Uh, the Russell Howard Hour starts Thursday, 8th of November at 10 p.m. Yeah. The very funny Mr. Russell Howard. Thank you.